Welcome all gamers to another GBHL YouTube video. You're here with GBHL James and we're going to be talking X-Wing. Hey. <laughs> and who have we got here? Cy Harris. He's running uh, X-Wing, I guess. Yeah, this is, you are running the largest <laughs> no, sec ever. Second largest. Sorry, second largest. We can say largest, they weren't any different. <laughs> well, they might do actually. This is the second largest X-Wing event yes. in the UK. Yes, yes. This is the second largest X-Wing event in the UK at the same time as the largest ever independent web strategy battle game event. So before we take the opportunity, because we do have a few X-Wing subscribers on our channel. Cool. So we've start with getting into the system. Jamie, Jamie really likes it. It's yeah, perfect. It's a perfect system. What do you like about the system? Um, the rules are so simple that anyone can play it. Like, you know, you literally, you're, you're showing an intro game. And one move later, you, you know, you can do one bounce, people know how to play, 100%. They, they understand it, everything can click. The young, the old, you know, people are playing with the five-year-olds, they're playing with their dads, they're playing, you know, they're playing with anyone. Everyone loves it, and it's very easy. Now, there's also, there's also a real complex level where you can go into list building and um, putting proper strategies and synergies into your list. That comes later, but you know what? I mean, if you just want to play for fun, it does that very well. It's, that's definitely what I found about the game, because yeah. it, it, it crosses the borderline between a board game and a miniature strategy game. Very, very well. Kind of Absolutely. There is, there is so much strategy to it, but anybody yeah. can pick it up. You know? Oh yeah, you, you can play it on a living room table, yeah, no yeah. problem. And, and you don't have to do any painting. <laughs> yeah, no, no, painting. <laughs> no painting. No Do you play other war games as well? Or? Uh, yeah, I play uh, Fantasy, oh, Batman. Oh, Actually, Batman, you're going to give us a demo game of Batman at some point. I, hope I don't you know if you've been told about this. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure Darren over there is. We would love a demo game of Batman, because we've got the miniatures, but the rules are written out amazingly. Um, they're getting better. It's complex. It's very complex. <laughs> more to more say that later. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that later. We're talking X Wing now. So, yeah, how many people yeah. have you got this tournament? Uh, we got 40. 40 people. 56 at the Nationals last year. So, we're, uh, so, you've got 40, we've got 50. That means we've nearly got 100 people here on Saturday, which is great. The game board looks great. Doesn't oh, it's awesome. Packed. Really packed. Have you run any events here before? No, never. This is my first event ever run. Well done. Same here. Yeah. So, we're doing great, so we'd like to give ourselves a pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. What's the good things about North Coast Games? Um, right, well, Darren's very approachable. <laughs> you don't have to say that because he's here. <laughs> Darren's terrible. Uh, I'd like to say what well, I, uh, I really think about him, but yeah. you know, he's stood there, and also we don't swear on the channel. <laughs> no, really, no, really, it's all of a very uh, friendly, approachable place. Uh, much like every gaming store, I suppose the thing that makes it different is there's a lot of space. Yes, um, I suppose. You know, it, it's he's put a lot of money in. There's a lot of effort in improving. It's all is getting better. There's a big gaming shop, uh, Element Games, on site, so that's just brilliant. Like you can and just go shopping. They've got a lot of price support. Yeah. They've they they support. Oh, they have. Yeah, they can have you. Yeah. So, around there. Yeah, but remember, guys, if you go on to Element Games, make sure you quote that you came through the GBHL YouTube channel because it helps us. And so it's through X-Wing as well. I do get a thing as well. Yeah, just no, say GBHL. No, no, but <laughs> yeah, you can have it. You can have it. <laughs> Brilliant, so when you play X-Wing, are you a Rebel or are you an Imperial? Or do you like to mix up the I, I would say I'm more of an Imperial, but I'm ashamed of us. I've got a secret shame about it. I don't want Is that because they seem to me to be... And this is just, I've only played a few games, they seem to be quite powerful. But there seems to be some really powerful combinations out there for I, I, I quite like, yeah, I'm, I'm into the power builds, I'll admit it. I do actually like being competitive with us, you know. Um, what we need to is what we did an X Wing week on the channel. Right. I didn't win a single battle report. Oh, okay. Did, yeah, it was awful. It was awful. Did so you I, uh, no, I was actually using the rebels. Ah, okay. And uh, we, we started with small points costs. Yeah. Um, which, yeah, when you've only got one or two ships, it wasn't wasn't amazing. Um, but then we got up to 100 point game. Then you do a 100 point tournament now. We're with all 100. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you this then. We're in round five at the moment, so, you know, towards the end of the day, we've got six rounds going. Just looking at the scores, it's rebel heavy, and it's been like that for the whole tournament. And that's with a wow. 80, or what's it, 2018 split or something, whatever. There has been more rebels. 22, 18. That's brilliant. Rebels. So what kind of list but, are they bringing? Oh, all sorts. Look at this. Oh, all sorts all over the place. So these, of, these two uh, rebels are on the top table at the moment. What have they brought? Uh, Andy over there has got Han Solo, and he's got loads of luck. <laughs> just rolling uh, green, too the many luck. green dice. Yeah, this is like third game or something. Um, and the other rebel list has got 
three X-wings and a B-wing. Yeah, three there X-wings and a B-wing. And he's rookie pilots. Oh, mate. Yeah, two rookie and big. Two rookies and bigs. Two rookies and bigs. So, yeah, um, what kind of upgrades do these guys tend to take? What upgrades do you have? Um, Han Solo with Chewbacca, Yim Yum, um, Expert handling, so the Falcon can barrel Expert handling on Han Solo. <laughs> Han Solo. Rolling Falcon. Baron, Baron Rolling Falcon. Yeah, who would have thought? It's been it once so far, it's been a target. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of X-Wings here, actually. Just going through a list, uh, the X-Wings are just everywhere. Yeah, it's great. Like tons, tons of... Uh, Oh, other, really other, <laughs> which, none of them are rich, but they're all rookie pilots, which means they're all pilots skill two. They're, they're using rubbish X-wings and everything. Wedge, look at that, eight yeah. wedges here. I've used Wedge. He seems powerful. He is, yeah. One Luke, two bigs, but you know the X-wing, which is great for the game because that's something that came out wave one, right? So if you're thinking something that came out two and a half years ago, and it's still a ship, it's the most dominant ship here. They haven't broken the game. All these upgrades have just added to the game. That's the best thing about this game. They were not meant to get hold of it until they re-released it not long ago. Yeah, okay. That's the problem, they, ne they never seem to make enough. <laughs> FFG do have their downfalls, and I'd say their number one thing is definitely uh, getting ships out. Didn't Element Games, they didn't get any of the uh, Imperial Elite. None of them knew yeah, um, I know that. Which is such a shame. I know that um, Jamie's really keen on yeah. the, um, what are they called, the TIE Inceptors. Yes. He really rates you, them. Uh, everyone does. Yeah, they're really good? No. Not no. really. Five Ace Swans here, which is good. Actually, I think this is the first event that allows Ace in it. Oh, yeah. So you're breaking all boundaries. It's an independent, so whatever, I can do what I like. But I haven't gone meant to go into, you know, allowed. What kind of Imperial lists are we getting here? What kind of uh, lists are these? Just the overpowered, the powerful lists? Um, well, is it just a real good mix? Uh, okay. The better pilots, the better sorry players will take a load of swarm. Yep. The swarm still, still seems to come in and dominate. Um, there's a few shuttles here. Uh, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven, shuttles. eight. And they eight. don't have to move. That's quite cool. Eight shuttles. No one's ever seen them before. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, the bombers. There's someone here with a four or five bomber. Um, good, actually. It's somewhere like table five. Yeah, it's not too far away. That's probably a good sign. Not too, not too bad. Um, we're quite keen to get involved. We, we want to come and get involved on your extra instruments. You should. Are you going to be doing one of these again? Um, I'm being pushed to do one in September. So um, we'll be doing in September. It, it'll probably be another joint venture. Like Darren nodding. Uh, he's, he's got a gun. That so means he, uh, he won't be able to get involved. <laughs> yeah. uh, but why should these guys come and get involved in the next ring tournament? One of the great things I've heard, I, I, I've never been into wargaming. It wasn't until doing the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Sure, yeah. Gave it a go. That was, I think that was a year and a half ago. So okay, yeah. Very new. Really it's my second, it's my second war game, and I was really worried about getting involved in tournaments at first because I, I had this idea in my mind that it was going to be certain type of people going to the tournament and it would be really cool and it would be an ultra sensitive. With Lord of the Rings, I have do you find that with X-Wing? Do you think that it's the same kind of phenomenon? Uh, it's fun and yeah, no, there's so little rules. I, I think what turns off a, a few people is there isn't enough rules. They don't think there's enough depth. So, so the, the war game... Is, uh, that is the beauty of it, but it does have a lot of depth to actually manoeuvre. Like, um, I've always put down, just out of 100%, you've got um, list building, manoeuvring, and uh, look for your dice. Now, you'll generally see uh, the people who are good at manoeuvring up the top. Yeah. Uh, that's that's, good, I, that's reflected. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that should be the case, you know. So there is a, but it's a good spread, and that's a debatable topic as well. Not just a dice game, it's not Yahtzee. Not, you know, um, I've heard that from my experience as well. There's a lot of maths involved in X-Wing. There seems to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see if you go online and look at some people, it, oh, there's a 55.93 chance that this will happen. Yeah, it, it never really you can break it down as much as you like. But yeah, you know, a dice with dice, and they really play the way they want to. And if someone's actually maneuvered in front of you and you've done a bad move, it's so, yeah. so if you run yeah. an event with us in September, obviously we'll do all the rings. September, and you'll run an X Wing event. Why should these guys, these guys come down with the ball in X Wing? The guys will play X Wing, not all the rings come down with the ball. Go on, Y Wing! Um, well, it's a day or event, which your guys are two and two day or two days. Um, the price is a lot less for the X Wing, but that's. Because it's a day or not two day. It's a competition. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not a choosing thing. It, they're very different systems. They, they really are. There's 
In a way, that's why this kind of this multi-system here is a work of day because we're not doing the same thing. X-wing is an hour long each, each uh, round. Lord of the Rings is. Uh, we're doing an hour and forty-five. Hour forty-five. So it, it does look. I mean, they both look like great games. So. I love X-Wing, I want to do more X-Wing, we'll try and uh, get some games with you at some point, maybe film you in some battle reports. That'd be brilliant. So yeah. if you can sign post some of your guys from supports that you know to the channel, uh, get them subscribed, that would be amazing. Great. So hopefully, hello, <laughs> one of our new subscribers, we brilliant. It's been GBHL James and Cy, talking about the X-Wing tournament at Northwest Gaming. So they've got a name for this event, what's it called? Uh, Rebel Scum. Rebel. Hashtag Rebel Scum if you want to see weird uh, information about it. Fantastic. And do you have a Facebook group at all? Or? Uh, no. no. Oh, uh, yeah, in the UK, uh, UK uh, X Wing event thing, you know, there's yeah. lots, of, lots of information there about people talking about X Wing all the time. Fantastic. So, guys, happy X Winging!